This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Master Lock Model 90 DSPT Trigger Lock. I'm demonstrating it on a gun that's close to my heart. It's one that I received as a Christmas present from my parents when I was 11 years old. It's the first gun in my collection, a Marlin Little Buckaroo, a 22 caliber single shot bolt action rifle. So I'm going to show you how we use this Master Lock Trigger Guard on the very first gun to ever enter my collection. Now this master lock is a relatively standard trigger lock design. We have two halves that separate when you turn the key and pull them apart. It's adjustable in distance between the two halves and that's done by using a ratcheting mechanism. You can see on this rotating bolt down the center there's a number of little grooves cut into it. Those grooves will engage in this spring-loaded plate right here, and that creates a ratcheting mechanism when you push the two halves together. This lock also contains a number of features to help it from, from wobbling around when it's installed on the lock. We have these little yellow spring-loaded buttons, and we have a number, number of little rubber nubs that are molded into either side of this lock again to keep it from wiggling around once it's installed. So let's put it on this gun and see how it works. We take one half of it and we'll put it on the the back side of the trigger guard Then take the other half make sure the key is in the locked position and insert the ratcheting insert the ratchet mechanism until you have it down as far as it will go and give it a good solid squeeze. Okay, now we have this trigger lock installed. And before we get right to picking, let's talk about a number of shortcomings that are common to all trigger locks. The largest one is the fact that you can access all of the controls on the gun other than the trigger. That means I can open the action of this gun and load it up. I can access the safety and turn that safety on or off. All I can't do is actually pull the trigger. So that begs the question, does this actually effectively block access to the trigger? You can see it's pretty tight on here, but if I really, really pull on it, I'm able to open up a little bit of a gap in between the stock and the lock, and you can see the trigger down there. That may mean that I'm able to reach in between with a piece of metal like this. Let's see if I can actually pull that trigger. There we go. I just fired this lock on this gun with the trigger lock installed. So you really, really, really need to check the fitment on any gun when you're using a universal trigger lock to make sure it actually does block access to the trigger and keep the gun from firing. Okay, so let's say, however, we do have this on a gun where the fitment's quite good, where you can't access the trigger at all and there's no way to fire it. What does it take to pick this open? Let's get a tension wrench in there, 40 thousandths pry bar. It's gonna be a little bit tricky picking this and not crowding the camera view, but we're gonna try to do that using a 18 thousandths pry bar, I'm sorry, an 18 thousandths standard hook from Peterson. One is loose, click out of two, click out of three, four is binding, lifting up pretty high, click out of four, back to one, should be the last one, there we go. So four standard pins, a relatively easy lock to open. Certainly it would be made a lot more difficult if we saw some, some security pins in here, but it's a master lock, so four standard pins is what we get. Now I will give credit where it's due. This master lock is better than a lot of the competitors out there. We look at this one from Remington. It's an all plastic design. It has a wafer core in it. So with master locks, metal body, 
and standard pin tumbler core, it looks pretty good compared to that. However, we can't just look at it comparatively. We have to look at this lock on its own merits. And with those four standard pins, it's not a terribly difficult lock to open up. So that's all I have for you on this Master Lock Model 90 DSPT. I hope I gave you a few things to think about, probably the most important of which is whenever you are using a universal trigger lock like this, you very, 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 very carefully check the fitment and make sure it in fact blocks access to the trigger. That's far more important, important than the pick resistance or anything else. However, as far as pick resistance goes, I think I showed you on this master lock that it's pretty, pretty below average. So that's all I have for you again on this master lock 90 DSPT. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.